Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Alright, and we're back again with Mass Effect 3, which, uh, been a couple of weeks or so, but... Ooh. Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. What? Yikes. That's gonna, that's a bit of a rough start. <laughs> uh we're we'll do some do a few of the RPGs that are available down here. But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. What's going on here? We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. And, oh, I, I can't talk to that guy yet. Hmm, okay. Who can I talk to down here? It's not the usual bartender. Wow, does can I do anything down here? Oh, there we go. I can talk to Liara. Still working? One call leads to another. And here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium. Remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? <laughs> I was busy staying alive. I was too busy picking off husks and chasing Saren to really take it in. There's no trace of the attack. In a way, that's worked against us. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Yeah, that's a good idea. Practical. I like it. You can get started by talking to the Volus Barlavon in his office. Oh. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. Wait, did, did I already do that the last episode? I can't remember. I'm actually not sure. I gotta, well, I go talk to him and find out. He decided how to tell him. That message is so impersonal. He's off risking his life. He deserves more than that. Oh, what? I could record something, but I hate leaving vid messages. I always get flustered. Maybe you need a script. Or maybe I need to get him on a vid call so I can do it face to face. Who knows when he'll be deployed somewhere with an open comm channel. Oh, no. He knew it would be hard to communicate when he left you here. Oh, I do. Oh. She's going to break up with him while he's out on duty. That sucks. Okay. Barla, what's up? Commander Shepard. It's been some time. All this since Barla Mass Effect Lawn, 1. In case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. Uh, what's that, um... Oh my gosh, every time, every time you stream, my Wi-Fi is bad. Oh, you know, I wonder, um, I stream with my resolution at a fairly high setting. Uh, you might be able to, I'm not sure what platform you're watching on, but you might actually be able to go in the settings, whether it's your phone or if it's, uh, you know, a computer. Um, you might be able to go into the settings and, like, get the stream to go down to, like, medium quality. Uh, you know, something along those lines, so it's not streaming at full resolution for you. Um, that might help. Um, yeah, g give that a try. That's it. Uh, I remember you. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. <laughs> a team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Um, what do you get out of this? Are you passing on the location of these mercs for free? 
Their leader's offering a handsome commission for their rescue. Everyone wins, Commander. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. Huh. Oh, shoot. Uh, Citadel Barlavon. Uh, okay, let me just look that up in my journal. Uh, secondary? Oh, no, that's Codex. Barlavon. Let's see, what do we got? Um, Barlavon has provided the location of the sh of Shadow Worker forces uh, trapped in the uh, Drenic system inside the Krogan DMZ. Recruit them to the war effort and return to Barlavon. I can't remember if that's just one of those missions where you go and probe the planet or if you actually fight. Can't remember. What's that? I might have to settle for audio only and use your stream as a podcast. Okay. All right. I'll um. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try to keep things interesting so that you've got something to listen to at the very least. Um, okay. All right. So, wow. Geez, that's actually a lot of different side quests. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see if there's anybody else I can talk to here just quickly before I go. Try to wrap up a few citadelly things before I. Um, I think I'll probably talk to the crew again before I before I embark on the next mission. Okay. Oh, I didn't go down here yet. Hey, there's Edie. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing. <laughs> I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? <laughs> um, not touching that subject. Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll get, I'll get deep into that subject. <laughs> They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core <laughs> programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. <laughs> it's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. <laughs> no, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Um, it isn't going to work. Uh, your company is what matters. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. Hmm. <laughs> I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder if we'll ever reach the day that robots start falling in love with organics. <laughs> you know, it's kind of an interesting idea. I've noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Hooking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. I'd say it's probably how they all feel. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Hey, Vindicator. Oh, 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 do I need any weapons? Proceeds from all purchases. Oh, magazine upgrade. Four Whoa. In Increases round per magazine by 40%. That's a lot. How, much mo how many oh, monies do I have? I have a few monies. I'll take that one. Uh, pistol melee stunner. Increases melee damage by 15%. For the best Done. Business, come to Casa. Um... Pistol piercing mod. This is, allows bullets to pierce uh, 0.50 meter thick uh, objects, uh, but at 60% reduced damage. Oh, fuck that! 
What the? Ignores 25% of defenses on armor of armored targets. Mm, I don't know if it's such a fair trade-off. Um, assault rifle, stable dampener. Um, I don't know. I haven't been new to a lot of assault rifle usage recently. I, pro I probably won't bother with that. Uh, assault rifle, nah. Sniper rifle. Hmm, I might want to do some sniping. I'm probably a lot more likely to do something with a shotgun later. Let's see, Inferno armor. Uh, no. Mo Model Alaska. Yeah, it's only a thousand credits. I'll do it. Uh, I don't think I'll bother getting anything else for now. Edie, er, er, uh, Joker. Let's talk about Edie. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh, yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. Uh, These people have no idea. Uh, they're scared or they're in denial. They're, they're scared. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. It's a point. I yeah. just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep? It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. Did she run <laughs> into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Nice. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Go for it, dude. It's there's a Reaper invasion. Go for it. And welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll partake in that. Let's see. Uh, SMG Ultra Light Materials. Hmm. High caliber. Oh, I'll take that. Ultra light materials. How much? Four thousand. I have a lot of money, so I'll do it. Model Citadel. Oh, of course I'll get a model Citadel. Uh, let's see. Pistol cranial trauma assist. Ooh, increased headshot damage. Done. Pistol power magnifier. Ooh, increases power damage, but but wait a minute. Generator enhanced effectiveness. Uh, wait, generator designed to enhance the effectiveness of tech or biotic tech. Really? How the fuck does that work? That's it. Increased power damage of uh, 40%. Eh, uh, uh, sure. Why not? I got some monies. Okay, anybody over here? Oh, what's this? Give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. I just want my money back. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. And you know what? No receipt, no appointment. Can't help you, buddy. Anymore. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Oh my god. Ugh. Most predators are people like that. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Pistol scope. Ooh, scope. Yes, I'll take a scope. I'll take all the pistol upgrades. Fuck yes. Um. Is that uh, SMG high velocity barrel? 
Assault Rifle Ultra Light Materials. Synchro Shock. Yeah, Shotgun Ultra Light Materials. I'll take that. SMG Scope. Uh, sure, why not? And let's see, Welcome what's this one? Armory. armory. Uh, I'll start with those. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Shoulder All guard. What's this do? A for see hmm. Assault rifle for ther thermal scope. Oh, but it increases the weapon weight. Uh, nah. At no price. thanks. That's Assault rifle high, high velocity barrel. Increases damage. Uh, redu oh, reduced rate. Oh, yeah, that thing. Let's see. Um, maybe I'll get maybe I'll get the shoulder armor. Shoot, I didn't. <laughs> Shoot, what the hell is the name of that armor? That that shoulder armor? Shit, I I forgot. Now I won't know to, what to equip. Okay, now I think now that I think I've talked to everybody here, I've. Oh, there it is. Armax, Armax Arsenal. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Armax Arsenal. Armax Arsenal. Okay. This is problematic. Stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. Citadel heating unit stabilizer. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I got a little side quest that I can pick up for him. Yeah, unfor unfortunately, some of those side quests that they designed, they they kind of suck. You just you you go you know you go down to you find a planet and you just probe it and that's it that's that's the quest and then you go back and talk to them it's like hmm, kind of a kind of a lazy way to inflate the game but I mean it's a it's a small complaint because there's so much there's so much else about this game that I like uh, okay all right I think that will be okay that's it for this area so I think I'll get back to the citadel uh, or sorry not the citadel the um, the Normandy, and see if I can see if there's anybody I can talk to before the next mission. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.